Welcome back to the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Safety Systems. And uh, every year, it seems folks are coming up with new ways to automate our homes. Lights, audio and video systems, heat and air all run from your phone or your tablet. Nobody will set you up better than Safety Systems can. Call VFL JJ Serlis this week. Ask him about all the home automation they do. And they can also do it for your business. They do great work. SafeTSystems.com. All right. Um, you know, for all the talk of an easy path to six or seven wins for the Vols this year, it's a team that won three games last year, and you had a lot of the players that started who've now exited via the transfer portal. So it's going to be a tough year. I want to uh, use a method that I read about this week that Bill Belichick uses with his team. In the offseason, he looks at certain players and he says, must improve over this guy, need to improve over this guy, or I want to improve. Some guy, you just have to make a change here. You have to get better here or else. All right, I need to get better here, or it's just, ah, it's kind of a luxury to get better here. So what I want to do is I want to take Tennessee's nine position groups. There we go. And I want you to tell me in this segment, what are the must improves? Which three areas, and you don't have to rank them one, two, three, but what are the three areas that must improve if they're going to get to six wins this year? So I can't go with nine. <laughs> yeah, all uh, nine? Yeah, we'll have to break it down. So. I'll, I'll give you two right out the top to me. Uh, quarterback, you got to get better quarterback play. Most important. No question about that. So yeah. that, and then the offensive line, which I thought under underperformed. Those would be two of mine. Guys, are we agreeing with quarterback and offensive line in terms of must improves? I, I wrestled with quarterback because I don't know if you do you mean must improve from what we know already about that group? Because I think if you include Hendon Hooker as somewhat of a known commodity, you could argue for quarterback to be a little lower on the list. But if you're improving, try, just trying to improve from last year. No question, quarterback's top of the list, and this offense has to be good at that position to thrive. So I, I've got no problem with quarterback being at the top of that list by that criteria. Okay, I'm going to put quarterbacks up there. I, I think that should be mm -hmm. number one, uh, personally. I see what you're getting at with Hendon Hooker, but just in terms of the way I want to look at it is from last year where Tennessee was to this year where Tennessee needs to be, which positions are desperately needed to improve. No doubt. All right, so we got quarterback up there as one. Jimmy's already said offensive line. Do you agree with offensive line as being one of the top three? I do. I, I think that, that was definitely one of my picks. I think you lose a lot with Trey Smith, Brandon Kennedy, Wanye Morris. There's a lot to replace there. You need Darnell Wright to take a step forward. There's a lot happening at that position, and you need those five or six most talented guys to be really good. And in that last segment, I started to pipe up and say Darnell Wright would be my most important on offense. You guys had run through some of the others, but – your offensive line looks questionable this year. That's a guy who was supposed to be yep. a pillar on your offensive line. He hasn't been that yet. He, he may not be the most important, but he's way up on the list, I think, for yeah. offensive guys. They need uh, Darnell and Cade Mays to be what they were billed to be. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Josh, do you agree? Quarterback and offensive line? One, totally two? agree. Yep. Okay. Where, I'm going to let you start then on the third. Well, um, must improve. Tell me how much possibility is a factor here because I would, I would throw up linebackers, but... I mean, the personnel is so concerning that can, can it <laughs> improve to well, where you would I, put I it to that level? Because I, just, I think it has to be a lot better. Okay, let's just take it from that perspective rather right. than can it. We'll debate that maybe in the next sure. segment. But you would go linebacker. I would say linebacker. Okay. Absolutely. That's mm -hmm. what I thought too. Because I didn't yep. think I didn't think Henry T played as well. Henry Toto, he didn't have that good of a year. I think losing the weight may have impacted it. And then you're losing Cravarius Crouch. I, I think that's a position that didn't play well. You saw too many times teams were passing over the middle. Uh, missed tackles by linebackers. I, I think linebackers one of those. Oh, the linebackers and pass coverage were absolutely Terrible. atrocious last year. Um, all right, so we've got the top three then. Quarterbacks, offensive line, and linebackers. Those are the three must-improves for this team. We're going to catch a break right now. When we come back, we're going to run through the next three. What are the needs to improve? And then what are just the luxury items at the bottom? But I agree with you guys. You probably need to improve in all nine. Come on back on the Sports Source. <laughs> we'll discuss.